welcome you all to the first lesson of this design analysis and algorithm subject uh, today we will talk about this uh, da this is also known as the da subject and this is the first lesson for this subject so design analysis and algorithm is one of the most important subjects into the computer science engineering field as we know that uh, the concept clearing is more important so this is one of the subject da that is the designing and analysis of the algorithm uh, which is one of the concept clearing subject it doesn't matter that what language you learn uh, what technologies you learn you should be clear about these concepts if you are going to uh, make your career long into the data science or machine learning or artificial intelligence uh, in any ways you should be clear with the concepts of this da that is the uh, designing analysis of the algorithms so uh, let's talk more about this subject as we know that this is one of the very important subjects if uh, we study this in the graduate courses then we may be uh, studying into the last uh, year of the graduate courses or if we are studying into the masters then uh, we normally study this into the second year right and uh, these are the two things uh, these are the two uh, courses like graduates and uh, post graduates but this is very important why because let me give you two major reasons one when you go for the interview the companies will ask you uh, the questions from this da obviously obviously the questions will be asked from c c++ data structures and design and analysis of the algorithms because they want uh, to know whether your concepts are clear or not if you go for the good companies then they will definitely ask you the questions from this subject da this was the one the second second thing is if you want to go for the entrance examinations let's say if you want to go for the gate examination or if you want to go for the uh, ugc net which is also known as the nta net then you will have a huge amount of the questions uh, in those entrance examinations gate as well as a uh, ugc net so if we talk about let's say uh, with the interview or uh, the entrance examination so this subject is very important as well as this is in your curriculum so it is important equally uh, because you have to give the examinations right so uh, we have three reasons three major reasons to study this subject one because you uh, need to clear your exam your curriculum two you need to clear your interviews and three you need to clear these entrance examinations so this is one of the very important subject for the computer science and engineering so i have given you the reason let me give you the practical uh, reasons also why uh, this uh, da subject is important because it's all about algorithms designing algorithms even designing better algorithms and analyzing algorithms so let's say if we have uh, four algorithms for uh, solving one problem then we need to analyze that from those four problems which is the best problem we can only identify just by analyzing all those four algorithms and then we can choose the best algorithm for our problem so that is importance of the design designing better algorithms we want better algorithms day by day and we want to al analyze uh, from the available algorithms that which is the best for the implementation let's say we google everything today and google needs to search a lot of things into its uh, database so uh if it will not give you the best results using the best searching algorithms in the fastest time then obviously uh, you will not choose google for the next time but google is doing why because it is analyzing its algorithms and it is designing better algorithms day by day to give us the best results so uh, we use google there are algorithms we need to design analyze the algorithms let's talk about facebook also so in facebook also it's all about searching and sorting so whenever we search someone so uh, the facebook uses its best algorithms to give you the results uh, one more example let's say if you want to uh, find uh, what are the top masters mca college in india then you will go to the youtube and you will type top mca colleges in india so youtube needs to uh, shuffle its database needs to search into the database and will find out the best results and will sort according to your relevance your search relevance and will present you 
so that is also using the searching and sorting algorithms uh, so that uh, the youtube can give you the best result in proper order and proper sorting and in the best time so everywhere the algorithms are important and hence the uh, designing better algorithms and analyzing them is equally important let give you one one more example that is of the google map today we are using google map to get to some other location and we need to find out the shortest route and a route using which we can uh, reach at that place in the minimum time so uh, again the google map needs to do all the algorithms uh, we need to apply the search and to find out the shortest path it will apply the algorithm and it will give you the best results so these are some of the practical examples where we are using these searching and sorting algorithms and these algorithms needed to be analyzed uh, for their performance so this is all uh, about this uh, da subject which is known as the design and analysis of the algorithm in today's uh, lesson we will talk about that what uh, subjects what uh, topics what topics we will be covering into this series of the da uh, what are the important topics what are the important algorithms uh, what are the concepts that we will be covering throughout this subject da so let me begin that uh, we will uh, start with the growth of functions uh, that is the growth of functions is uh, one of the topic uh, what is growth of the function it depends that whenever we uh, give input to a problem and depending upon the size of the input how that algorithm is performing if we increase the size of the input whether the algorithm is performing uh, better it is uh, deviating from its performance or it is degrading so it is performing constantly it is degrading or it is growing or performing better with the input size so that we can study with the uh, this first topic known as the growth of function so we will be covering this uh, growth of function topic then the next is uh, an important one which is the asymptotic notations so here we have a, a big o notation big omega theta notations then little o notations and little omega notations see these are asymptotic notations uh, used to assess the performance of the algorithm so we will apply uh, these uh, asymptotic notations on different algorithms and we will try to analyze their performance we will see it later uh, don't worry we'll uh, learn everything in detail we learn everything with lot of ease i'm going to make this subject very easy for you uh, most of the people have uh, asked me that da is a very difficult subject but let me tell you i'll make it very easy for you right so the next is the complexity we are going to study the complexity one of another very important topic uh, we study two types of uh, complexity here majorly one is the time complexity and other is the space complexity where we uh, understand we try to learn uh, that how an algorithm performs in its three major senses let's say in the uh, worst case what is the worst case of an algorithm what is the average case and what is the best case so let's say if we have to use a linear search of 10 elements and uh, the element we need to search is present on the first position so obviously the linear search will give you the result very fast so that is known as the best case and if the searching element present is at the last 10th position then the linear search will take maximum time to give you the result that is known as the best case Uh, and if it is somewhere in the middle then obviously we say that this is the average case so we need to study all these uh, things best cases average cases and worst cases in respect to these two uh, constraints time and space what is the best case uh, in which your algorithm can return the result in reference to the time as well as in reference to the space uh, then we will uh, analyze some of our main algorithms we will analyze some of our main uh, searching algorithms as we have already uh, heard about linear algorithm and binary search algorithms but here we will analyze these algorithms we will not only learn how to code because we have already learned this uh, we have already made the program uh, of uh, linear search and binary search but now we will 
uh, try to analyze these algorithms on the basis of the complexity, on the basis of, uh, with the help of the asymptotic notations. Similarly, we will also analyze the, these uh, sorting algorithms. Here we have uh, two categories of the sorting algorithms, let's say basic uh, sorting algorithms and then the advanced sorting algorithms. So the basic, in the category of basic, we have bubble sort, we have selection sort, uh, we have insertion sort, these are termed as the basic sorting algorithms. Uh, we have already learned and uh, know the concept of these algorithms. And then the advanced algorithms like shell sort, quick sort, mud sort, heap sort and reddick sort. So we will learn all these algorithms and we will uh, analyze these algorithms for the performance uh, in the best average and worst cases. Uh, with the help of the asymptotic notations. So we are going to analyze these uh, algorithms, searching and sorting algorithms. I have already told you the importance of these searching and sorting algorithms in practical life. Uh, next is uh, the approaches. We need to study the approaches of, or we can say, the classification of algorithms. Uh, what are the approaches that we can create the algorithm? What are the ways? What are the methods? So we have this uh, divide and conquer approach so this is one of the approach divide and conquer if you have a <clears throat> if you have heard about this merge sort and this is based on this divide and conquer uh, approach we will see this later in detail what is this approach then we'll talk about the dynamic programming and we'll also talk about the greedy approach the greedy approach to get to the solution uh, we also talk about branch and brown branch and bound approach uh, this is more related with your <coughs> graph problems, branch and ground. Then we'll talk about the uh, backtracking again, a graph uh, problems uh, to find out, let's say, the minimum uh, spanning path of the tree. We'll using the backtracking algorithms. Then we'll also be talking about the randomized approach, randomized algorithms, and approximated approaches. So these are all the approaches using which the algorithms can be designed, uh, and we need to analyze these uh, algorithms. And we can also say that these are the classifications of the algorithms. We will be, we will be learning these uh, in detail. We have lots of problems based on these approaches. Few of uh, are written here, let's say the knapsack problem. Uh, this is one of the problem, the uh, shortest source single path. This is another problem, the travel salesman problem, discuss, discuss trust problem, Bellman Ford algorithm, Warshall algorithm, Floyd algorithm, resource allocation algorithm, the graph coloring problem, which is one of the very common problem, the graph coloring problem, the N queen problem, Hamiltonian cycle problem. So these are uh, some of the sum of the subsets problems, SOS, that is some of the subsets problems. So these are uh, the problems that uh, based on these approaches and we will be studying all these problems in detail and many more. So we'll be studying all these problems in detail into this uh, uh, series of the DA. The other things that few data structures we need to study, analyze. So in the data structures, we have the trees. So in the case of the trees, we will be studying, let's say, B tree and uh, the RB tree, that is the red black tree. So we will be studying this B tree and red black tree here. Uh, we will be studying the heaps also, where we have the binomial heap. We will be studying binomial heap and we will be studying the Fibonacci heap. So these are the two heaps we will be studying and analyzing in detail here in this uh, course. And obviously, uh, we will be talking about uh, Fourier transforms, string matching. String matching is another important concept that is uh, related with the automata as well as with the machine learning. So we will be learning string matching. This is a whole chapter. We will be studying this string matching in detail. Then we will be talking about NP completeness. NP completeness. And uh, lastly, we will be talking about this approximate algorithms and these randomized algorithms. So these uh, approximate algorithms and randomized algorithms will be our uh, end chapters. So this is all we need to study into uh, our design and analysis of algorithm subject. We will be dealing in detail and let me tell you, I will make it very simple for you. I will make it fun learning for you so that you will be able to uh, crack your interviews. You will be able to uh, identify your answers very well in your entrance examinations and you will be able to score good in your uh, 
uh, theory examinations as well. So uh, we'll be meeting uh, in the, the next lesson, starting from our first topic, growth of the functions. Okay, before growth of the functions, we'll also be talking a little bit about uh, algorithms. We'll be talking a little bit about the characteristics of the algorithms, types of the algorithms. So we'll first understand what we mean by an algorithm, what are the characteristics of algorithm and uh, then we will be talking about these uh, topics, growth of the functions and asymptotic notations in detail. So that's it for the lesson. Uh, we'll meet into the next lesson. Thank you so much.